Here we go. Fourth league match against Aku Chi. And I have to beat him pretty handily if I don't want to demote. Well, I would have another chance in my last match, but it's not looking good at the moment. So what's going on? Um, very little draw, decent trashing with transmog combined with sewers. Um, yeah. I mean, Crossroads is, is a village and you can maybe play some vassals. I think certainly opening um, Transmog, you don't really need to get Sewers turn one. Maybe, do we get Fool's Gold? Do we just play Fool's Gold money here? Mm, Transmog estates into Fool's Gold, maybe. Mm. Yeah, drawing is very hard. <clears throat> On 4 3, I probably would open Transmog and Night Watchman. Maybe, maybe that's too fancy. Mm. So, there's not a lot you can do here. Full Scott's Transmog, maybe, maybe that's fine. Ah, but there's no draw. Hmm. Maybe Silver Transmog. I don't know. Thomas Market, it's usually pretty bad. Mm. Thomas Market, Transmog, get Sewers turn three. Or turn four if you don't draw to get the Transmog. Yeah, I don't see anything <laughs> useful here. So <clears throat> opening Farmer's Market is um, usually very bad. Might also be bad here, but what are you? going to do so mm, yeah with the buy i'm kind of thinking that i want to go fool's gold trash my coppers with sewers and transmog <clears throat> Let's see what he does. I mean, 4 3. Hmm. Yeah, maybe Transmog. Night Watchman is fine there. Raider is pretty annoying. If you get to play one every turn. Huh, and he follows. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's better as second player. Oh no, oh, come on. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's still fine because I did find my transmog turn three. So I guess I shouldn't complain here. Um, yeah, let's go fool's gold. Trash that into a trans, uh, into a fool's gold and uh, Buy a transmog, I think. <clears throat> yeah, I would have loved to uh, buy Sewer's last turn, obviously. Second transmog, because I need to trash my coppers. Yeah, that's obviously much better. But he didn't play his, so maybe maybe my start is actually better. Um, I could have five. Take a farmer's market, play it. Don't really see the point, so let's do this and then buy that. 
hier all, um, well, <laughs> I could still wait with the sewers, but then I risk uh, not being able to afford it next turn again. I think I'll risk that because getting two <clears throat> full skulls is pretty good. And here I can get my sewers, which is nice. Um, yeah, I think I have to. Um, does auto play play the full skulls? It does, right? Yes. Not that it mattered. Okay, this is fine. Here I can call trash. Um, take the fool's gold. Done reacting and uh, hmm, another farmer's market maybe. I mean, one mode <laughs> could also be a thing. What else? Horse trade is pretty bad. I could Night Watchman here to guarantee a state on top. And Farmer's Market, I kind of like that. Yeah, that looks uh, pretty strong. Well, I'm not guaranteed to line them up. Um, if they are in some weird destination. So here, if I just discard the copper, actually, <laughs> I probably don't even want to discard that. This is like the perfect hand. Trash stayed into whatever trash copper. Yeah, well, it was a bit of a sad night watchman then. <clears throat> Province um, done. What am I getting here? Mm. Hmm. I do have eight, um, no matter what I get. Could just be um. Another Night Watchman. That's not good. It could be silver. It could be Farmer's Market. Play one. It looks best. Mm. <clears throat> oh, you might think that I have uh, my uh, the other one in my next hand, although it does get discarded on top on top of the province, right? <clears throat> think so. And he can maybe react with the fool's gold and trash some junk. <clears throat> yeah, these decks will choke pretty hard on green. And that's why he decides that the golds are better, probably. What's the fool's gold split? Do I have six or is it five five? So I have three and then uh, I would five. I think it's 5-5. Five, five. <clears throat> yeah, we each had a turn, but we bought two. And then the rest were bought. 
Um, well, just one by one um, advice. Okay, that's good. And I should be the one um, who pops the farm's market for points, which is funny because you can trash a copper with it, maybe. Um, <clears throat> no farmer's market. Yeah, I could put a gold on top. Trash of copper. Hmm. Seems fine. Play farmer's market by nothing. It's sad that they collide. Stayed into silver to afford no crossroads. Okay, yeah, that's a nice crossroads. I do have another province in hand, which is cool, thanks to the gold. Yeah, I'm ahead here, but the draws can uh, <clears throat> can mess up everything, obviously. Just ahead by a tiny margin. I did trash um, one more estate, and I think one more copper, and I have a points lead, and I have another province in hand, and transmog down. So that should be good. And here I have another province. Um, three, four, eight. I can even think about turning something into something. Does he have a chance to get like, no, he doesn't. So that's pretty safe to just get province here, put the transmog down and uh, this should almost guarantee province next turn. Let's say, okay, no, he doesn't have transmog down. So I don't even need to trash this transmog into a dirt. I mean, I could, but is there a way he can win? There isn't, unless he has like fool's gold, four fool's gold in the farm's market or something. But then that's, which money is that? 14, well, that would be province dutchy, but what are the chances, right? So, um, Yeah, let's not do that. Let's just do this and then Night Watchman comes in pretty pretty handy here. Because I can just mill a province next turn if I, if I have one and I have two down even so I can. Yeah. I should be able to afford a province even. Well, let's see what I top deck. <clears throat> Yeah, I complained about my turn three draw, but I guess it's still better drawing the transmog. Um, yeah, this is a win. Then not drawing it, even though I wasn't able to afford sewers. Okay, yeah, that was, I guess Fool's Golds were right here. I mean, was I was thinking maybe like uh, you can do some vessels and with one crossroads or something, but uh, I think Fool's Gold were a bit too fast. And if they are uncontested, then they're even better. So I think uh, 
that was the way to go here. Okay, so that's one for me. <clears throat> um, I think he forgot to switch the player order. Hmm. Yeah, it shouldn't matter. I mean, we already clicked on start, but I, I'd be fine just playing this board. Unless it's pretty ugly, I didn't have a close look. Huh? It looks kind of interesting to me, so because we have Scholar. I don't know. Should I just play? Let's let's wait and see if he reacts. Um, so what's going on even? Thinning is possible, even though it's a bit hard. But I guess you get rewarded for it because Miser is also pretty good with Fishing Village and Scholar. There's plus buy, so. Hmm. I mean, should I just play and then we have it? Yeah, I guess I'll do that instead. So is it island um, fishing village or miser fishing village? What's patent? Hmm. Could be could be miser patent because what's the Willis Pie Scholar? Because if you have miser copper and whatever copper estate or something, then you can't really buy anything. <clears throat> yeah, okay. Mm. Kind of like the miser. Mm, what's the three? Oh, I forgot about Hubble, so I think I should wait until I maybe get a chance, even though hitting three is not that easy. Uh, hitting four, I mean, with the miser open. So fishing village or patient. What's an expected hand? An expected hand is three coppers, miser, and uh, yeah, I'll do that. Oh wow, <laughs> so much for the uh, not so likely. Uh, four coppers with hovel. That was super lucky. Let's see what he gets with the four. I didn't get to see what uh, if you had Hubble in hand. I think it's an easy island open if you have Hubble to trash. Even though yeah, then you only have uh, the overgrown estate as a good target for the island because the Necropolis is kind of decent here, I think. Building will take, yeah, I still would do it. Um, Building will take forever, but I think the ultimate the final deck is pretty strong. Yeah, and that's the thing. And here I can get a coffers. And here, I think it's time for a fishing village. What's next hand? Next hand is, is three coppers, an island. I think I'll wait to play the island until I pair it with the overgrown estate. Is that too greedy? Well, I will have to play the miser anyway, so. Yeah, here I think fishing village is uh, pretty good. One secret passage might be handy at some point. And also you need a buy, but not yet. But probably comes from Market Square rather than Capital. He seems, did he collide? No, what, he can't, doesn't even have things to collide. Um, yeah, Fishing Village. This will be another coffers and then 
Okay, second miser, yeah, sure. And then we need a scholar as soon as we can afford it, I guess. So here the question is, do we get a coffers or a fishing village? I think we get a fishing village. <clears throat> we still don't pair the overgrown estate with the island. Which honestly would be pretty good. Two less stop cards. And now I have the question next turn if I want to play the island on a copper. I'm not sure. I think I don't because I can afford Scholar here. And that should help me pair my island with the overgrown estate next turn. Hmm, but I don't have a fishing village down next turn, so that might be pretty pretty bad. Mm. Copper to map. Buy fishing village. Now I need to hope to draw the and I do. Nice. Even though I still have to discard the island and two coppers. Mm. Yeah, but that's what I'm gonna do. And then we need a second miser and a market square next. Mm. Uh, I play two fishing villages. I think I'll not play the third one. Well, it would give me a coffers if I buy a market square. How many coppers do I have down? Five. Yeah. Whatever. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, the question is, do I set the necro aside? I still think I don't. Set a copper aside here. Mm, that's only three. <clears throat> Not a fishing village, I guess, and get the miser next turn. How many coppers does he have down? Three only, nice. Despite having two misers. I think I actually get a second market square over um, my fourth fishing village. Next turn, how much money will I make? Seven, ten, I think ten with two buys. That can be, well, no, three buys then. Yeah, that's pretty good if it's really true. Um, Yeah, get a market square here. The thing is that I don't pair my overgrown estate with the island all the time. Probably not getting to 10 here. <clears throat> that was kind of um, optimistic. Do need a second miser and another fishing village and another scholar now. <laughs> so many things we need. It's pretty even here. Our decks are almost identical. I do have one more market square, one more fishing village, but he has one more miser and he already has his island and the overgrown estate out of the way. Oh, I was first player, I kind of forgot about that. I was gonna say, yeah, well, that's fine, he's first player, but well, 
I'm the first player. <clears throat> I think you should profit now with the miser and buy some stuff. He also needs a second market square, I think. Now our decks are exploding pretty fast. Don't think we continue like buying coppers and setting setting aside. I think we just green pretty fast here. Once we can get to double, double is only playing two misers, and then, yeah, fishing village. Then we have it already with uh, three fishing villages. I would like to get some islands with it. They are nice to tuck away the provinces, and also they help, help the scholar. So he has a choice here. Yeah, just profit, right? I mean, you could set aside your sixth copper, but maybe. <clears throat> maybe do that and buy another market square. Then you're ready to go next turn. Yeah, not being able to um, to get rid of that overgrown estate slowed slowed me down quite a bit. Am I still connected? Test. Seems to be the case. Don't have a fishing village down even, so I can't even draw anything useful here. If I draw, hmm, uh, I don't know. If I draw the island, I still play fishing village and then scholar. I think. Is there something to be said for not playing the market square? No, not really. I need the buy. Okay, there we go. Okay, that was the best draw I could have hoped for. Mm, nice, we draw the deck here. I didn't um, calculate that through. So now the question is, so here's my 10 that I was talking about last turn. 10 and three buys. I was thinking like Miser Fishing Village Market Square maybe. Um, yeah, I think we have to profit here. Mm. Profit. Second Miser. I need to draw that scholar, that's a bit of a problem, but I think I can't get a second one here. I have to get fishing village market square. I think these are the buys <clears throat> and then hope to draw the scholar here. That would be amazing. Even though I already have two misers in hand with the market square, so sure the turn should be fine regardless. Fine-ish. But yeah, it's pretty tight here. One bad turn can can put him ahead and vice versa. Super even now. I still have the tiny bit of an edge. Basically the first player, first player edge, half a turn, 
because I have one more market square, one more fishing village. Other than that, our decks are identical. He does have two coffers, but whatever. I wonder. I, I wonder if he can build bigger than I mentioned earlier with a third miser, because I mean. Six money or potentially seven is pretty good. So I think we do that. Build build a bit bigger. Get a second scholar, maybe. I don't know if we need it, but I think we do. I also would really like to um, get that last copper out of the way. The question is, is if it's maybe too slow. And you need to always take the money. <clears throat> That's probably what he's thinking about as well. Take the money or... I mean, you could always play the Scholar first if you have it in hand. You draw your deck. It's easier to think then. I mean, drawing the Scholar here would be cool for me. Yeah, we need more buys. Yeah, we can probably build on here. You know. Okay, so he does put his last copper down and uh, gets the things that I got, basically. Um, yeah, so profiting twice, it doesn't do anything, so I can Put that copper away and then um, and then profit. Two buys. Mm. Huh. Well, next turn is pretty good. I have a total of four buys. That should be also pretty good. So I think I can take a third miser now. And um, and what? Fishing village? I mean, next, next time will be great because I have... Uh, four buys, that's enough for good stuff. Like, yeah, yeah, let's do that. Get a coffers. <clears throat> He can take the initiative from greening now if he wants. But with three misers, I should be well positioned against that. I think I'm greening this turn. Maybe with an island as well. Maybe with a second scholar. Depends on my draws. Let's see if he um, puts his last copper away. I kind of thought he did it last turn, but that was only his sixth. So he, yeah, because he didn't do it before. Yeah, he has the alternating fishing villages that I don't. I have five of them. So maybe I only play three this turn. Well, let's see um, what the money situation is. Maybe it doesn't really matter, because if you get them out of your deck by playing them, that makes it also more likely um, to find the Scholar. So maybe I just play them all. Even if it doesn't give me the price point that I want to hit. So he has two misers here. He can, if he prof profits with both, he has 16. If he profits with one, um, he has 11. I don't think that like mm, 
profiting twice in double province um, is any good for him. I think he has to follow on the third miser. So probably profit and then he has 16 and 4 buys, get like miser, fishing village, scholar, market square, something along these lines. <clears throat> Even though we don't really need more than four buys from now on. So he could also get Miser Scholar Fishing Village. And then he can't take the province with it. Too expensive. Because one province would be kind of decent for him here. And maybe he does province fishing village miser. That's uh nope. <clears throat> okay, um now we need to green, I think. Okay, we play well, we play three for sure, it doesn't even matter. when we play them so mm. can play one more for sure mm. can get triple plus uh, triple is, is a bit of cross maybe a bit too much Scholars also points. It's something to remember. So if I get double, I have nine. I feel like double scholar fishing village village looks pretty good. Don't really need the fishing village. I mean, I can play all the actions that I that I need to play. Huh. Kind of want a second scholar here. Province, province, scholar, market square. That looks decent. So if he then triples, I can triple and win. If he then doubles, I can still triple and be in a good position. Um. So if I double and he triples, that's good for me. If he triples, then I need to triple, so I need to be ready for that. Um, he has six buys. Yeah. I think Market Square is better even though something like Island or Fishing Village would also make sense, but I really don't want it that. And um, that's why I think Market Square is better. <clears throat> because he's in a pretty bad spot now. I mean, what is he going to do? I probably triple and hope that I can't triple, but. Because if he doubles here, I guess he just has to double and get another miser. Oh, that's something he can do. Miser, double province, duchy. Yeah, maybe that's good. With good, I mean, can he outscore me if I triple? That's what he has to play for. Alternatively, if he thinks he can't, then he should just triple here. Maybe it should have been an island, but... It's not like... Um, 
hiding that province is gonna help me because the game is more or less over on my turn anyway. Either I win or I lose. <laughs> I mean, I can drag it on maybe if I don't get to a high number, I can buy some duchies or something. I mean, he has to get two provinces for sure. I mean, you can also buy no provinces and go crazy by double miser and and so on. <clears throat> but at some point, it will be hard to outscore five provinces. I think he should do double province miser. Scholar, maybe. Scholar, mm. maybe he needs to play a bit more risky and hope to draw the Scholar. Oh, I could have, I could have bought it. That was stupid. Market Square should have been a secret passage, right? To see the second Scholar, potentially. And I don't really need the fifth buy. Well, maybe I do. If we get some miser, then I can potentially pile on miser's market squares and fishing villages. So that's also something he needs to consider. But if he gets two provinces, doesn't even do it. Two provinces miser and no more points um, lets me win if I draw. And well, I do draw. I've basically a guaranteed triple province in hand. Yeah, this is some hard math here for him. <laughs> I don't really care. I mean, I could also think about it, but let's just see what he does. Basically, he needs to either take two provinces and make sure or at least make sure that the possibility exists that he can outscore if I triple them. But I think that will be hard without buying a miser. So then alternatively, he should maybe just triple. I mean, you can bite that cheese. You can also like double province, double Dutchie. I don't know, it's also an option. <laughs> so many options. I need to talk about something, right? While he thinks. <clears throat> can also riffle my poker chips instead. It's also a nice sound. Yeah. Oh. Wait, what? Okay, the Scholar. <laughs> Forgot about that. So that's pretty clever. I only have... Wait, what did he buy? <laughs> a capital, okay. Somewhere I thought he also bought a miser. Okay, capital is probably pretty clever. Let's play that. Mm. Play a miser. Huh. I'm thinking of out. There's a way I can top deck. First of all, I think I need to figure out what happens if I triple here. If I triple, he has six buys. Um, right? I have, he has, no, he has seven buys. He has seven buys. Can he afford. What would he need to get then? A province and four duchies. That's not so hard even. Oh, dang it. Did he outsmart me here? So if, if I triple... No, first of all, I need to make sure I calculate this right. So if I triple... Um, with 36, he would need 19 points. Province is 6, then he needs another 13. <clears throat> I 
<clears throat> I can't can't think here. So four duchies. Yeah, basically he needs to get four duchies, estate, and province. That's twenty, twenty-eight, thirty. And he has that. He does have that. Huh. Um That's annoying. Okay, now I will drop my deck anyway, so. Oh no, I don't. If I don't play the fishing village here, I have a chance of him, but that's too risky. Um, <clears throat> um too bad I'm missing a coin for that she here. Um how much money can he generate? He has four fishing villages, that's four. The capital that's um, ten plus yes thirty two. Um, he would get four duchies and a province. That's twenty eight. <laughs> he can tie. He can possibly tie then with four duchies. Province island. It's twenty twenty eight. 32. Does he really have 32? Uh, for Mises is 21. That's four fishing villages. That's 25. Oh, he only has 30. 31. That's not enough, right? He's missing a coin? Is he missing a coin? He's missing a coin to tie, possibly. Um, if I do triple plus island, I think that's what I have to do anyway, right? Uh, triple plus island, yeah. Uh, he would have to get four Dutch is a province that's 28 and an island to tie that's 32 but he only has four misers that's uh, uh, three misers it's 21 four fishing villages 25 and a capital it's 31 and he needs 32 so um let's see if that was I mean, I could have done that also in like one second, but just kind of wanted to make sure. The question is, do I buy a copper here? Mm. No, because I have a fishing village down. Uh, the reason for buying copper was if I only find misers with a complete dirt, then, uh, well, I would have had eight, but I still have eight because I have one fishing village in play. Um, so I think he's missing a coin here to tie, and um, let's see if that's correct. <clears throat> Four provinces and a duchy cost 28, yeah, and then he can only get an estate, and that's, um, that's like... It's one point short. That's funny. <laughs> and I um, should be able to, to find a miser here with the scholar in hand and three market squares. Wow. 
Yeah, the funny thing was that he couldn't touch Miser last turn. Maybe he should have taken another capital instead. But uh, I'm not sure that helps. Yeah, I guess he has to take um, six duchies now. Yeah, let's just hope I find my miser. <clears throat> well, it would be so, it's close to impossible to not find it. I'm seeing 10 cards already and I have three misers uh, down there. And if I don't find it there, it takes more scholars. Okay, and four duchies or what? <clears throat> Maybe. I don't know. I think you should take that cheese. Yeah, that was um that was cool. <clears throat> Okay, so the mission of beating him handily at least has a good start to it. Yeah, um, first player. Okay, got it right. Ready? And the good old already starting bug. All right, and now he is first player. <clears throat> also, a uh, decent player to be, a uh, decent board to be pl first player on the tournament. And yeah, you can get a madman and so on. So he's more likely to get the first prize, and that snowballs sometimes. Um, well, what do we open? We open a hermit. And uh, so what's going on in general, the only village is Madman and um, Trusty Steed. Um, Hmm. <laughs> I mean, Hermit is amazing. The question is, yeah, I think Hermit, <laughs> Hermit Lookout maybe. Or do I go more aggressively for the prize and get like Hermit Tournament, get a Madman, try to spike eight with the first Madman play? Uh, it's not really. I would want to play. <laughs> I would like to get my deck under control and then uh, play it nice and clean, but sometimes you have to abandon that. Let's see what he opens. 5 2 is pretty terrible. I guess he has the 4 in. 
four dollars in hand because with the three you just click on hermit and uh, <clears throat> four three is more likely than three uh, five two because with the five two what do you even do get like maybe uh, i don't know low sacred grove probably five two is super bad okay so hermit plus what The thing is with Hermit plus Lookout, you don't really hit eight with your first Madman play. At least that's not very likely. It's not super likely with Hermit Tournament either. I mean, Market Square is also pretty decent now that I think of it. I mean, not to open with, but Um, get it on turn three or four or something, and then play a madman, play a lookout, discard the market square, get a gold, buy a province, get trusty steed, get followers, get princess, win. I don't even know how that sounds on the video, or if you can even hear it at all. Probably pretty annoying. <clears throat> huh, maybe it does have the five, because choice cannot be so hard with the three, four, or four, three. Can be kind of hard. <laughs> Can make him resign turn one. I mean, four minutes. Ah, cool, really. <sighs> I mean, I'm also the fastest player, so I guess I shouldn't complain there. Or am I disconnected or something this time for real? But I don't think so. Wasn't the case the last time either. Oh, yeah, there we go. So he does go for the tournament. So yeah, when he wasn't sure what to get with the Hermit, I guess. I think I'm taking the lookout try to play it a bit more clean. That's a great draw. Um, hermit, I guess, gains a, uh, a Hermit, obviously. <laughs> and then I might even hit five. Well, if I only hit four, I still just buy tournament. Um, if I hit four, I buy tournament. If I hit five, Maybe I still just buy a tournament. Can buy Royal Seal. How does that work? You gain a card here. Yeah, you can top deck the Madman. Probably too fancy. Here I will trash Copper, even if I find a state, I think. Huh, now that I said it, I'm not so sure. Um, but I think I do. So the unexpected five, I think I don't want to buy a tournament here. I think I want to buy something better. <laughs> he does get an idol. Mm, could be idol, yeah. I do have a madman, so I can think about taking a sacred grove. Mm. Then I might hit eight without and uh, without having a um, tournament in my deck. This is tough. 
tough. Idol doesn't really inspire me. Let's get a sacred grove. Okay. It's a nice boon. Hermit will gain market square here. And then I will buy like tournament something probably. <clears throat> Play the madman first, obviously. I'm not so sure on the sacred grove because of the village problem that we have. But I think it was fine. Madman. Um, I guess I play. What do I even play first here? Does it matter? Maybe. I have six. It's not a good number. Mm. Play crow first, I don't really know, plus one card. No, I have seven. That's um also not a good number. <laughs> I think I will buy tournament plus something. Why would you need to think about plus one card? There might be a reason I'm not seeing. Doesn't take it. Cool. Um, look out. Hermit. Market Square. And then Tournament Market Square, I think. Kind of want to go wood. Mm, yeah. Mm, not like that. Here I think I will wait a second. I can I can get a gold here. Doesn't trash an estate though. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Um, you can think about another gold. Hmm. There's a copper and then a state on top, I think. So I think I play the lookout first and trash the copper and discard the estate. I don't know. Do I want to get another gold? I want trusty steed. But he'll probably get there first, I'm afraid. Even though it's not so clear. Because I do have a madman. It does buy a gold. That's uh, expensive. Nice reveal. Trash. <sighs> Do I want another gold? I think I want another gold. 
This got the estate, draw the copper, play sacred grove by tournament. Yeah, I do have madman next turn, so. Um, trash. I tournament. Next turn I'll get province. <clears throat> okay, so he decided to not play the madman, but rather um, get a gold. So let's play the madman. Let's play the tournament. Okay, um no, I, what's the last card? I mean it's an estate and is it a copper chest, right? It's a copper. Mm. Do I want more golds? Don't really know. Can I gain and play something cool here? Not really. Mm. Let's play the sacred grove, I think, first. Okay. Um, eight it's plus six. Yeah, gold is a good card. Um, market square is nothing better, right? That should be tournament. Oh, wow, I'm so lucky. <clears throat> can even block his tournaments now, potentially, if he plays any. Um, yeah, it has to be Trusted Steed. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's tournament games for you. I think I have it on my disliked, I don't know. Uh, maybe not. I think I was thinking about it, but decided that there are worse cards than that. Um, it should be his start again. Mm, and it is, so another cool one. That's pretty explosive. Um, gardens might be a thing. Sculpture is amazing. Um, I would open Sculpture, I think, if I had the chance with save, um, but I don't. <clears throat> so, Transmog Improve, I guess. Mm, it looks best to me, and then get a Sculptor fast and then get two more <laughs> sculptors and then probably another one i want like all of them three to four feels like a good number i mean you need to make sure that you're also getting a, your fair share of ranges obviously but um let's see how it plays out um, Improve, yes. Um, Transmog turn three is pretty good. This is also very good because it hits five. Um, 
I probably still prefer his thing. The question is here, um, do I trash the improve into a ranger? I think the answer is yes. Uh, I'm not super certain, but I think that I'm doing that. So he saves rather than buying another improve. Let's see if he does. Yep. Okay, so. Oh no. <laughs> okay, my um <clears throat> my transmog misses, which is which is bad, but um it's not the end of the world because it would miss the shuffle anyway. So now I could uh, hope to play it turn, whatever it is, with an estate in hand. Here I just buy, I think, another improve. Improve looks, improve looks pretty good here. I can turn them into rangers. Need to uh, care about the villages later. You can always buy a villa. Oh, okay, so he takes an aggressive path here, which I kind of like. Here the question is, do I buy a pawn or do I save an estate to guarantee having one for transmog next turn? I think I'll do that. Could also save a copper. But yeah, I mean, pawn does not a lot here. <clears throat> we do have enough buys. The only question is, do I save a copper or do I save an estate? I think I rather play it by the dead villa. Hmm. Strange to me. I would you not buy a ranger and buy the villa when you need it? Okay, so I would have found my estate anyway, but hindsight is twenty twenty. So. I turned that estate into what? Mm, might be an improve. Play the improve. Mm, play copper spy villa. Play Villa, then I have two actions. I was thinking if I can maybe play two Rangers this turn. <clears throat> and then continue my turn. So if I trash a state into improve, play the improve, buy a Villa, play the Villa, I have two actions, play a Sculptor. For a ranger. I mean, I can also do that and then just play one ranger and save the other one. <clears throat> that seems reasonable. What else can I do? <clears throat> I mean, a state into. I mean, second sculptor is also so nice. But it stayed into improve seems like automatic. <laughs> what if I turn it into silver? Play Sculptor to gain Ranger. That's also a way to do it. Um, gain a Silver here, play Sculptor to, to gain a Ranger, play Money, buy a Villa, play two Rangers. But then two Rangers in, in the Sculptor Mr. the Shuffle. I don't even want to play two Rangers this turn, so... What I'm doing instead is 
the thing I said earlier, I guess. Um, yeah, right, I can trash, I can trash a villa into a sculptor, I can also trash an improve into a ranger, but I think I'll trash you into you. <clears throat> yeah, play improve first, I guess. I will have to buy some villas here, unfortunately, but I mean, in this game overall, maybe I should get a plaza soonish. <clears throat> I mean Ranger is also the obelisk pile, so you want you want a lot of them. And then the game probably three piles between Rangers uh, and something else. <clears throat> Excuse me. Do -do 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 -do. With that ranger play this turn, I might be a tiny bit ahead, but probably not. Uh, maybe, maybe a tiny bit. I'm not sure I liked his, I guess it was fine, his um, transmog trash into a sculptor, but probably it was fine. Would be cool to find some sculptors here for me. Um, yeah, I'll start with uh, playing improve here. I'll need to buy that villa anyway. Um, yeah. <clears throat> wow, what kind of draws that. Um, here I'll have to save another estate, which is a bit sad because um, I cannot afford another sculptor, but I can afford a plaza or just another ranger. Uh, I think I kind of need one plaza. Next turn, I should be able to play two rangers. Do I do that villa into sculptor stuff, stuff again? Probably. <clears throat> oh, yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, oh no, I forgot I had the transmog down. So I stayed into silver, I think, for once. And then go from there, play the improve, buy a villa, play the villa, play a sculpture, gain a ranger, play two rangers, am I out of actions? Probably. I mean, maybe I have to sculpt one silver. could also, nah, that's, that's not right, doesn't feel right, upgrading the improve, uh, the improve into a ranger, I mean with transmog, not with its own uh, capabilities. So I think, what am I doing, estate into silver, play improve, buy villa, play villa, two actions, play sculptor, Gain Ranger. I probably have to to gain like a plaza or something. Um, I 
If I play the improve and buy a villa with two more coins, basically, um, then I can sculpt her. Yeah, so let's do this. Here I wonder, do I get a plaza first? Hmm. I mean, I could get an improve here. <laughs> no, that doesn't make any sense. I could get a silver. Could get a silver. And then... Play a sculptor to gain a ranger. Then I have zero actions in one villager. Probably plaza is better. If I gain plaza here, play it. I have two actions. Can sculpt. Uh, I'm a bit afraid I'm not hitting four. That's unlikely. Playing plaza. Play it. Play sculpture, can ranger. Huh, doesn't really work. Gain the plaza, play the plaza, have two actions. Play sculpture. I think I have to gain a silver here, as sad as it is. It doesn't make any sense. Um, <clears throat> Do I have to gain Villa here? Man, that's so bad. Mm. But it, maybe it's not so bad. Kind of bad though. Um, <laughs> I do have enough coppers, right? Like four more. There are enough coppers left, so I can play two more rangers here. I think. And then. Um, I want to play that approve so. Um, do I buy Ranger or do I buy Sculptor here? That's not so clear. I mean, uh, I did play two improves, so I can do. Um, Sculptor looks pretty good. He can't pile, can he? Don't think he can. I could save an estate by Plaza. I think that's better. How many terminals do I have? Many. Mm. Improve into Ranger. Maybe. Ah, okay. Mm. 
this looks like uh, I will have to gain another I don't know what plaza hmm dang might dirt here it's always nice to end your turn with the journey token flipped uh, up I think is the word so you can start with ranger and draw five cards uh, I hope I didn't leave a pile out <laughs> that would be bad and mm, I mean I guess I didn't but my turn is bad so Ah, shit. I botched that, I guess. I thought about Sculpt into Harem, but I thought I would have more time. I mean, I should have, but not that uh, this, not when this turn is going like it's probably going. Oh, maybe it's it's not as bad as I think. It is bad because I only have three freaking dollars. Can't buy villa. Oh, he probably denies them anyway. <clears throat> because otherwise I could just, um, yeah. I could just buy a villa and, uh, I mean, he's playing with fire here, but it might, um, might turn out well for him because I'm likely to dirt. Um, yeah, that's super annoying. I mean, at least I can do Villa into Tachi, but he's still likely to win. He does have the journey token, and he also has a transmog down. Um, yeah, that's an issue. Well. Nothing I can do about it. Mm. Ah, double Dutchy. Trashing the villa. Yeah, too bad. <clears throat> I mean, I do have the six point lead, but he does have uh, the Rangers. I think he should win here. I mean, I don't know how his turn looks, obviously. Mm, I need to find a Ranger. Well, the, well, he's probably winning, but if he doesn't, and then I need to find a ranger, but I don't have any hopes of that happening. Yeah. Ah, so annoying. <laughs> uh, I was in a good position there, or maybe until I missed my turn. <laughs> Against the plaza, you can also empty those. Sure. Maybe he needed to take it for draw. Hmm. I mean, it's not guaranteed that he has it. He didn't play any proof yet. Cut coin. Oh. That's not it. Cool. That's not it. <laughs> so, um, I get to play a turn. That's bad. Mm, don't think I need to discard here. So, let's see. Mm, 
Do I have it already is the first question I need to ask myself. Close. Um, so if I gain like, I need to empty. Well, I think I need to take a plaza here and then go from there. Crazy. <laughs> um, hmm. So if I take an improve here with the sculptor. Then I have three, four. Did I did I have it and botch it? Probably not. Okay, so if I take an improve, that's three, four, five, six, seven. That's only freaking seven. I need eight. Eight would be um buy two plazas and trash. Whatever into Dutchy. <laughs> It's uh, it's amazing. Mm. Well, it's only seven. So what can you do? Need to take another plaza. Unless seven, nope, it's not there yet. Ah, come on. I mean, really, <laughs> ah, this is this is annoying. I think it was a huge favorite there, but. Didn't happen. Now he just wins. Ah. <sighs> yeah. Any of these cards. Okay. I mean, I guess I overall this series I can't complain about my luck. So. It's just that I need. Uh, many wins to not to demote. <laughs> uh, can you maybe just click on Dutchy or whatever? I mean, he was unlucky the turn before. So, whatever. Two more. <clears throat> Okay, um, that looks pretty bonkers again. <laughs> hmm. Sad thing is that if you open Shepherd, you have to trash an estate at least. That's true for me. Mm. Uh, I mean, that's Shepherd Tunnel. That's the, the big thing here. Um, what 
do we open? I need that shepherd. I think I open Shanty Pixie. I need to also trash coppers. Um, I also need to hit four. Could open Shanty Expedition. I also need a buy, so I also need a Salvager. Mm. Could open Salvager Pixie. The thing is, I need to hit four, and uh, I have it here. If I treasure copper, I could buy Gladiator. Wow, that's that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Gladiator for the win. Gladiator has pasture and goat to reveal for a higher chance of. Doing stuff, um, probably Pixie. Could be Expedition or City Gate, but okay. Now I will get my Shepherd. Here I might be able to afford. Um, no, not really, but I can, I was going to say a Hagler. Let's see what a Pixie does. Was there a win that, a win that I missed last turn uh, in the previous game? I wonder. Gain a silver. Mm, we can gain gold, so we don't really need silvers. Um... Okay, so I could get that Hagler, but I don't really want it. I rather want to trash a copper. And uh, buy. I guess a sh he already has two Shepherds. Second Shepherd seems reasonable. I also want Tunnel shortly and then. A native village and a salvager and a shanty town and a haggler. Wind's gift to make his shepherds good, I guess. Yeah. Gives me strong deck, but only one buy. Might be Hagler for him. Or Tunnel. The thing is, if you buy Hagler now, you, you want to gain Tunnels, but you can't with the Hagler power. You would have to buy Tunnel and then gain like a Pixie or something. You certainly need a salvager because buys are going to be important. And then we also need a village because we have that gladiator for some reason. Wow, that's pretty sad. Um, that's uh, super sad. So tunnel or could be Expedition because my next turn is bad. Oh, it does have a Pixie. Yeah, I need to Expedition here. I need to try to find another Shepherd. And I do. I find both of them. Okay, so now I probably get... I don't know what to get. I think I play one shepherd first here because if I get 
Earth's Gift, I want to have two treasures in hand. Does that mean? No, I still discard it all. And then I play the Pixie. Okay. Um, so he played a Pasture, so I can reveal that. Um, so now... <laughs> I get Hagler here. Next turn, assuming I draw, I could buy Salvager, gain Native Village. Seems okay if I get Salvager here. Don't have anything to trash. I think I get Hagler here. Third Shepherd for him. Maybe not. Maybe he wants to tunnel now and realize that he can't get it with Hagler. Time for City Gate is over. Maybe that was a small time window, window where you can get it, but certainly not anymore. Pretty unfortunate turn for him. Maybe he does have Shepherd and. Uh, hmm. I don't know. <laughs> I could actually know what his hand is, I guess. Maybe he had a. No. <laughs> he also didn't have Shepherd last turn. Does he have two shepherds in hand? That would be sad. Whatever. Yeah, so he wants to tunnel now, so let's play a pixie first. Plus one card, I don't think I need that. Um, I wonder if I should stop here. Because down there is a shepherd with two estates. I mean, it means I'm not trashing the copper. But I kind of want the tunnel now. But what I really want is also salvager. But I don't really need the salvager yet. I can wait for a bit. So maybe tunnel native village here. Stop. Seems okay. Next turn should be fine. These are the cards I want, so. <clears throat> oh, that's amazing. Forest Gift is pretty great here. Interesting order. But I guess it's fine. It doesn't matter. Okay, so four is not that great because he had a bad turn. No, I can't really do a lot with these three buys. Salvager can trash golds um, at some point. I wonder. Yeah, no, that was fine. I was going to say, I wonder why I didn't get Shanty last turn, but I bought the tunnel, so I had to gain the native village. Gladiator is interesting because I have one and I might be the first one to get a fortune, and fortune might be pretty killer here. The buys are the thing that are lacking. Nice expedition. Okay. That's a bit sad for the Hagler and uh, Forest Gift turn. I guess we played a Pixie first. Uh, wow, shit. What, what is that? Um, I mean, I'm talking about the, the draw. Um, Do I take that? I 
only have three freaking dollars. This is Shepherd and an one estate down there. And a gladiator and a haggler. I wonder if I need to expedition here. Let's take that. I think I do play that and set aside. Oh, the tunnel. I forgot about the tunnel. Mm. That's a pretty bad set aside. Um, do I trash that copper or do I need to buy expedition? I think I need to buy some three here. It probably is expedition. Okay. So I need more villages now to play more salvagers because our decks are going to explode pretty fast and the bottleneck is the buys. So we need to be prepared for that. And we aren't currently. Probably gets another gold here. Um, maybe. Maybe not. He doesn't want the gold right now. Or did he? Does he have a shepherd on the mat? Salvager native village, I think, or salvager shanty, but I think native village. You want to have to. <clears throat> And Shanty is not activating right now anyway. Do, 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 do. Okay. Hmm. Well, that's probably fine, right? He doesn't have that gladiator, so play the wisp first. Pick up um, can I s do something clever here? I don't know. What did he play? I mean I can I can guarantee a gladiator trash. That's what that's what I can do by playing native village first, revealing the wisp. Mm. Okay, Savature and what? Savature and uh, Native Village, I think. Let's hope I draw something. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's um that's going to happen with these kind of decks. Here I set aside and buy a salvager. Well, second tunnel is also need is it is it needed? Probably second salvager is more important. Huh. Yeah, buying some expeditions would also help, but buys, we don't have the buys. Okay. 
kind of need him to dirt now. <laughs> Maybe we don't build that huge here because of the, yeah, I kind of like that. I kind of like what he does here. I mean, your deck can be s full of golds and shepherds and whatnot, but it's still not reliable. Having said that, I think I will play for the fortune here. Um, <clears throat> because it's also a buy. Um, set aside and buy. I mean, I have three actions. I can play two salvagers and a haggler. I don't necessarily have to play the gladiator, even though I would like to, to uncover fortune. Yeah, I think I'm buying salvager here. <clears throat> hmm. Do I? I mean, I could buy a third shepherd. Could buy expedition. Does buy expedition? That's probably good. Um, shepherd. Uh, <sighs> mm. I mean, I might that again next turn. I think I need to expedition here. Okay, that looks good. <clears throat> so if I draw, I can play Salvage Gladiator and Heckler. It's funny, you can buy fortune and gain a province. No, you can't. <laughs> because um, that's not how Hegler works. You can stonemason the fortune into two uh, provinces. That's something you can do. Fortunately, there's not, no stonemason here. I never did that. It would be cool. Still masoning the fortune into two provinces. Mm, yeah, he's ahead here by a lot. And even to dirt, which is uh, kind of likely to happen, but maybe he's just provincing expedition. Ah, that seems a bit a little uh a little bit too unambitious. I think think just if you can double province and you gain just provinces with some shepherds it looks reasonable and he is probably double double provincing here yeah it's just uh, he's just running away with it right Should trash a gold, I guess. Maybe he's thinking about trashing goat instead. Ah, that last game. <laughs> Still bugging me a little. <clears throat> Hmm. No, that didn't work. <laughs> uh, I was thinking last game if I gain two improves with the. Uh, I mean, I shouldn't think about that. <laughs> but I don't really know what to think about it right now. Yeah, he can double province, gain shepherds. It's over. Not quite. I need him to dirt. Question is do I still play, uh, plan to get fortune? 
maybe. So um, what's on the thing? The shepherd. So let's just discard it all. Give me a gold. Um, state in hand. Top deck's a tunnel. I think I picked that up and take another gold. Oh no, damn it. Mm. I'm stupid. I played the Wisp too early. I need to guaranteed fortune uncover. Shoot. Now I need to hope. Can't ask for that undo. Mm. Does he have a clean shuffle? He does. That's just a lottery. Um, that's annoying. <laughs> Can reveal tunnel, haggler, salvager, goat, or pasture. Can somebody tell me what he has or what he hasn't? Um, I should reveal the thing that's bad for him because I'm behind and I need to hope for a full that anyway. What's bad for him is tunnel, maybe. Probably Hagler is bad for him. He doesn't draw, tunnel potentially draws. I mean, gold and pasture is bad. Gold is the worst. Gold is the worst. Not sure if that logic uh, is correct, but I think it is. So let's reveal gold. <clears throat> okay, good. Uh, give me that. Okay, okay. Um. So if I treasure gold, I have seven plus nine, 16. If I treasure gold, I have uh, 11, 17, 18. Hmm. What am I buying here? So 16 is probably like Salvager. Shanty plus Fortune. And uh, something. I think I'm trashing a goat. <clears throat> Save it sure. Maybe save it sure. Native village, fortune shanty. Seems reasonable. Shanty, hmm, probably not shanty actually. Hmm, what then? The shepherd. Don't need to play my gladiator anymore. Let's let's go with the shepherd. <clears throat> yeah, something like that. Maybe it should have been uh, expedition plus fortune. And he draws. Dang it! Why do you draw? I mean, if I draw, I can can buy.
five provinces, but no, I only have four guys. Mm. So I guess I need to expedition now. I mean, the turn is already something. I have um, I have twelve and three buys, and the shepherd plus whatever shepherd does. <clears throat> I have four golds right now. Yeah. I wonder if he's still getting a uh, fortune. <clears throat> Thing is, if he double provinces, I'll have a hard time catching up. Maybe I should have taken. Uh, nah, the forest is already gone. I need more buys. Bias is what we need and reliability. Those go hand in hand because if you have more bias, you can buy more expeditions. Kind of surprised um, only two tunnels are gone, but somehow it was more important to get reliability, even though we didn't, but okay. That's probably a good boon because he gets it twice. Yeah, that looks like double province to me. Unless he wants to get fortune. <clears throat> I'm not sure if he should just rush the provinces. I think he should do that. Because, as mentioned earlier, um, as powerful as your deck might be uh, potentially you might never draw all of that but he doesn't he couldn't double province so that means maybe he should get a fortune instead <clears throat> salvager something like i did last turn salvager what native village and fortune plus whatever another salvager potentially I do have three buys. That's a good thing. But I'm very unlikely to draw here. I mean, draw my deck or most of it. Yeah, expedition looks good. Fortune, okay. But you're still only at three buys right now. Oh, you can get a salvager here. Then that's four. Yeah, that's good. Time for treasure maps, maybe. Power. <laughs> hey, did. <clears throat> yeah, 
Savager <clears throat> makes sense. I still need him to dirt. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, that I should go, that's 6, that's 9, that's 18, that's 15, and uh, 3 buys. Uh, for trash, native village, it's 13. I mean, I guess I have to trash a goal. I mean, I could trash Shepherd. That's 6 plus 4. It's 10, that's 17. Hmm. 17 verses, what was the other thing? 15. Hmm. <clears throat> 15 and 3 buys. Could be Expedition. Salvager Shanty. Maybe two expeditions, so let's set aside. Two shepherds already, I mean, I, I'm afraid of my next turn. Certainly one expedition. Could be two expeditions in a province. I mean, if he draws and triple provinces, I'm busted anyway. I do have a potential for provinces. So I think I should play for that next turn. That would mean another expedition and uh, can I generate third? Yeah, I can. So let's let's actually do that. <clears throat> I probably <laughs> won't draw it all here. Let's see. Oh, he has a not so good turn, I think. I hope. Uh, okay, maybe that's wrong. Maybe he just buys four provinces. Okay, yeah, I, I missed I missed the start here. Uh, I thought he only discarded one victory card for each shepherd, but there was four at the start. Oops. Yeah, so I guess he has a win here. Milling a province, buying three. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> oh, you can go on. Yeah, well, then it's guaranteed. Then that's easy. Man, such a nice start. And now it's 3 2. I can't imagine that he doesn't have it here. I mean, you can even mill two provinces. What's the what's the deal? You have like forty or something. Probably uh, forty-eight, fifty-ish. <laughs> well, fifty. Yeah, there we go. It wasn't that hard. Yeah, if it's like mostly draw dependent, um, how this is gonna end. I don't know that we made major mistakes. Probably, certainly, but I mean, in the end, it's always gonna come down uh, to who's gonna do it. <sighs> Druid, trashing, poor man's workshop, and Good old silver gain. 5-2. Um, looks fine. Mm. Getting the druid to trash. Draw is only jack. Pretty miserable, miserable board. If there were a better knight on top, that would be cool, but I'm not opening Dame Molly. I think I open 
courtier druid or royal seal <laughs> when do you get the chance to do that um but it's still not so good problem is that courtier also is not so good i mean this turns does it turn into something money or do you try to i think you try to play um to, with many knights but not with Dame Molly. So, I mean, it's it's an action fade, so I can even do two things. But if they collide, I would have to do action anyway. But I can get a gold off of it. Triumphal Arch. Everything is bad. Royal Seal, I can top deck like a Jack next uh, when I draw it. Or a Necromancer. I don't like anything, but I have to buy something, so let's do that. Maybe I can spike a lucky six or something. Um, do I buy silver even? Yes. Yeah, this will be totally money-ish, right? even get a masterpiece i mean you would like to play goons every turn but it's not gonna happen uh, triumphal arch does nothing <laughs> this board <clears throat> Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll just buy provinces pretty quickly. So here, well, hmm, I can buy a goons. Okay, I can also. What does druid do? Well, I will do that anyway. So if I do action coins, I can treasure copper and buy. Then Natalie. Stay mentally even good. I could also do action gold, uh, action coins, play druid, get a silver, buy a goods. Hmm. I mean, trashing with the druid, I mean, it's not, it's not a thing. Um, yeah, I think I do that. I do action coins, gain that juicy silver by goons. Okay, here I will, um, maybe gain a gold by humble. <laughs> um, Yeah, humble castle. Here we go. He probably can uh, play his jack. Yeah, mm, shit. To my goons, but I still play the goons. Um, to buy them, Natalie. Nah, let's buy goons. Here. Um, I can either trash the estate and by <laughs> crumbling, I can also gain a silver. Mm. Well, do I trash an estate or do I buy a necromancer? Necromancer is pretty cool with knights, eventually. Just in a state of by a necromancer. I think I buy a necromancer actually. Ah, this is miserable. Am 
my humble gets trashed at some point probably anyway. Kind of want to get a masterpiece for 10 and then just province. That's risky. Claim the blind necromancer, zombie mason. I get Dame Natalie here. I mean, Dame Anna is uh, a good reveal, but by now, I mean, we are not trashing. We won't get our decks under control. I could get Royal Seal, but uh, no. This might be an action gold by a necromancer. I mean, Necromancer doesn't do a whole lot at this point, but you have to buy a card, right? <clears throat> okay, Silver can go. Wow, double goons. Might be copper time. <laughs> um, yeah, I guess we get the death tree. Uh, maybe Necromancer is better. But uh, let's get the death tree. Here, I might trash my druid to draw three cards. What happened? Nothing. That's good. I made also just zombie spy and trash an estate. It's probably better. Um, okay. Action gold or action coins? Action coins I could afford. Necromancer. Let's do action gold. Trash. I could also discard the copper actually. To gain. Same question as earlier, do I want to trash an estate or do I want to gain a necromancer? I think, I think I'm taking, I think I'm taking a necromancer. They don't do a lot at this point, but three knights are around, so we should trash something rather sooner than later. This is pretty sad here. Should have got a jack at some point, I think. Maybe not. <clears throat> it's pretty good against, against goons, and he has three goons, so. Uh, do, 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 do I want to trigger that shuffle? Well, probably he does it for me. Looks like he doesn't. Mm. Guess I don't. Just play the goons and buy whatever. I already have some amount of terminals. So I'm not sure that I want the jack now. I think I'd rather get the crumbling. Good old crumbling. It's pretty bad, but um, <laughs> well, yeah, I, well, 
I was going to say I'm buying a province, but then he attacks me. So I could still buy a province. I could also gain a gold and buy a small. But all these castles are an issue because of knights. Um. Hmm. So what happens with a small, small castle in the trash? Nothing. And if you played with necromancer. It's by province. <clears throat> Okay, so he believes in, in something here, which I can see. Um, okay, I'm gaining a silver. Trashing the goons, that's pretty cool. Don't want another druid. And my deck is like the worst deck I ever built in like 60 years. <laughs> Oh, I trashed the goons so I can play Necromancer's goons. So that basically means we will play goons every turn now, and also he will play goons every turn. So I don't see how this game is ending. Maybe on Necromancer goons? Ah, but then the third pile is missing. <laughs> Uh, what happened? Yeah, nice. Give me a silver. Um, yeah, I think he's ahead, but whatever. Might pile on goons, necromancers, and estates, honestly. That's my current thinking. He does the triumphal arch thing. Let's see. Yeah, that's pretty decent. Also need more goons for that. I have two, right? Hmm, shoot. <laughs> and now he will trigger my that shuffle, right? Probably. Yes, he does. Um I need they molly in the trash. Do I buy a um, small castle or do I buy necromancer here? Probably small. <clears throat> Do I buy copper? I think I buy copper. Hmm. Ah, that's pretty crazy. But I think I do. I mean, I'm not getting to empty the castles, but goons and necromancers will run. And then I think I will just go for the estate. So copper here should be okay. It also protects from knight's attacks. That's a myth, by the way. You shouldn't buy coppers just to protect you from knights, but... <clears throat> he 
Sophia can buy the Haunted if he doesn't. Get another gold with it. I can also buy the goons. Um, yeah, I'll do coins gold, I guess, and then buy something. Probably the Haunted Castle. Because I'm not attacking him here. I mean, he might always have a jack, but so be it. I mean, Goons is three points for me. Um, but I'm still getting the Haunted, I think. I mean, we do have the Goons in the trash, so... <clears throat> There's no need to really have it in the deck. Now he's thinking about the province, I guess. I would buy provinces him. Nope. I didn't see if that scored for him. I don't think so. I mean, one point off of goons, but. And what else? Nothing? Silver? Silver. Mm, coins gold by haunted, I think. <clears throat> yeah, but the other castles are more or less out of reach. <laughs> I mean, seven, ah, okay, I can theoretically hit seven and eight. I can theoretically even hit nine, but... And then I have the, the small castle to get the last one. It's a good plan, right? Uh, trash is a silver, okay. Um... I mean, knights might run. Can play necromancer as goons and buy Dame Josephine. And Josephine and copper. <laughs> yeah, looks fine. It's better than duchy, and I don't see what I'm buying. Courtier could be another thing, but. Don't re even care about revealing any. Oh, there's Jack in the trash. I kind of missed that. But I'm only drawing stuff dead, so let's rather play the goons. Even though you can always play Jack now, but nah. Not sure if that's worth it. Sir Michael doesn't do a lot. Oh, here. Um, <laughs> what should he buy? Goons. Three, four, five. Two options here. I think I'm just spying and then goonsing. Um, I could also trash that zombie. I had that necromancer. But I'm not going to. Okay, that was the good order. I totally, of course, didn't track my deck. Do I keep that? I think I discard it. Um, yeah, let's discard it. So here I'm just goon saying the question is what do I buy? Do I buy opulent or do I buy province? 
Um, I think I'm buying a copper. <laughs> and then Opulent or Province. I do have the small castle, so I might get the next one, maybe potentially gain three estates. Uh, and then empty the things. Copper. <laughs> Yeah, let's buy the opulent. Yeah, I mean, I'm expecting to get attacked here. Okay, so we trade those. It's fine. Okay, so I can buy, I can buy the sprawling here. Just like that. Oh no, I can't. He still has an action. Oops. Freaking Molly. Yeah, shoot. Um, what do I buy then for five? Dachi? I guess Dachi. Ah, you want the sprawling. Oops. Okay. Yeah, that's better. Mm. Okay, so coins, Dutchy. I mean, probably Dutchy is a pile, right? Oh, you can attack me. Oh, there's, oh, there's this stay Molly in the trash. So starting your turn with playing Day Molly and then Jack looks pretty good. You'd have to have two necromancers in hand for that to happen. I don't. So I guess I'll just spy. Seven. I still have that small castle in the shuffle. Thing is, I'm only getting one of these castles with it. And he's not gonna buy the, the grand castle. Um, yeah, so is he going for the Dutchy estate only, or does he want another goons? Does goons score for him? I totally lost track here in this game. It's just too messy. Ah, goons copper, fine. Mm. Could buy goons that scores for me. Um, hmm. I mean, I could. Oh no, I can't play another spy. That's unfortunate. That necromancer draw is pretty sad then. <sighs> Hey, what can I do with that necromancer even? Can play Day Molly, that's pretty bad. Um can play Jack, but I need to score. Can trash my goons. Nah. Okay, so that was um, pretty bad. Let's play uh the Molly. Touchy Copper. Yeah, that was that was a bit sad. I mean if I had two necromancers to start with, that turns pretty good. 
I mean, pretty good relatively. Can play, can play day Molly and then Jack. And then maybe even hit nine. Josh is my goal, but discards the province. That's okay. Here I'm trashing the druid for three cards. <clears throat> Seven. I still have that small castle. <laughs> that she stayed, yep. Um there is there it is. Okay, okay, mm, that's probably uh, Molly then. I mean, I would like to goons him, but I also would like to hit some number here. Oh, mm. dang it, that's pretty bad. Mm. Six as well, can either play Goons by Dutchy Copper that scores five points, or it can play the small trash it. It's not even worth it. Um to trash that and then gain zero points from Grand Cast. I'm not hitting ten. Yeah, I think I'm playing goons here. I could buy copper goons. Goons is still three points for me but it might get trashed but so might dutchy hmm yeah that collision was uh, sad maybe we'll get back around to small castle but um, no. So goons, I think, is better than Dutchy. Seven, probably only six. Yeah. It looks like I lose, um, but I have to buy Dutchy. Um, yeah, I mean, this is annoying. <sighs> Do I play Destry? I mean, you can probably buy Dutchy here. Do I play Destry and hope to trash like a Dutchy, or do I play them Natalie? Gain an estate. Probably that. I mean, it's over anyway. Oh, <laughs> right here even. Okay, yeah, that was... Uh... All right, anyway, um, three all, finally. And uh, I guess see you next... Uh, I still have one match. To play but yeah okay see you in the next match and thanks for watching everybody bye bye quite a long one almost three hours that's uh, too long <laughs> see you